hey YouTube, coming at you with the viewer submitted Greatly team uh, from Sandslash Train, and they are using Sandslash, so that is awesome. Uh, Sandslash Polyrath Glade. So this team is, uh, I gotta put on the, I believe it's half psychic, uh, double weak to flying and double weak to fairy in the back, of which you have Sandslash for the front to deal with it. Uh, so they say, hi Dan, love watching your videos, learned a lot. This is my second season competing. I struggle because I don't have a lot of the Pokemon. I just play PvP and don't tend to grind the resources. I used to struggle against three turn fast moves, but have improved recently. I am working on counting and move timers and stuff. This team is very weak to Annihilate, Lead, and Fire types. T triple weak to Talonflame. You don't, yeah, you don't see a lot of Talonflame. Ace Ancest can still core break a lot of teams. Annoying Batsuit on Grass Hole and the Dragon Double Steel. Yep, Polyrath is a safe swap and Glade can one shot everything as a closer. I tend to panic and make a lot of mistakes with my Pokemon. Health is very low, even though using less bulky Pokemon puts me in this situation a lot. I enjoy using Shadow Pokemon. Hope you enjoy the battles. Yes, so that, let's, before we even get into the battles, I always say bulk is better. And this is a team that does not have bulk. You have a Shadow, wow, Shadow Sandslash, Shadow Glade, both very glassy Pokemon. And Polyrath is, is okay bulk, but it's not the bulkiest Pokemon. And you're using it as like a something that's probably going to get punished because you're using it as like an ABB trying to draw out um, like a fairy or something. So um, when you use a team like that, you put yourself in sort of a vulnerable situation where you better be good with your energy management and stuff. So if you're not, I would suggest maybe just bulking up on Pokemon. Um, so we'll go here. So you are running Powder Snow, so it's not good from that perspective. You have Draw Run, which is super effective. If they're running Triple Legacy, they have Joran as well. Uh, so let's see if you just go instant, try and catch it. Yeah, one in trying to catch. I like it. You clearly watch because that's when I, it's, I, I say that's one way to try and catch is one fast and then try and catch after a charging move. Take the Joran. run. Out comes the Venusaur. Will have the Icy Wind. You've already grabbed one shield. So likely to let it go. They may try and farm down. Ooh, they should have farmed down. Again, we're in the we're in the two thousand range, I think. So, uh, what's there? Yeah, twenty two to twenty three hundred. Uh, no wait, I deleted it. Two thousand ish range. So, they should have farmed down. Um, you should definitely farm down. Have a move. If the sea king has been, I would shield this potential drill run. Um, you should drill run yourself. Ooh, icy wind bait. Eh, that's okay. Still worth the shield. Um, drill run yourself. Lowered attack non-stab not enough to take out going to come and psycho boost this there is your gligar uh within that situation i mean you can just come yeah it's kind of a weird one in this situation just knowing your counts is important like gligar is the gligar is like one of the easiest one because everyone used it right it's five wing attacks to an early so there's one there's two there's three there's four you're already at a move in a bit and you're gonna win cmp um, so you definitely should be throwing getting that off there. Um, I know I saw you shield. You can double shield. You could also just like probably let this go and just farm down with Powder Snow and come up with multiple moves. Uh, but going to go back to back here. My only concern is that they just commit to the farm down um, and then potentially bait you. Can they outpace you? Oh, no, you have a move. Never mind. Never mind. You already have a move. So the extra farm is not really needed. Um, and you get the farm down. Okay. Bad-ish lead. The powder snow makes it better, right? Uh, timing off on that one. Um, again, I'm surprised you're not one and try and catch. See? One and throw. It happens a lot. I would have tried to catch that on the polyrath. Um... And for running a team that's double weak to fairy and flying in the back, okay, you caught that one. Nice catch there. I was about to say, for running a team that's double weak to flying and fairy in the back, you're really slow on the leave here, which could put you in sort of tricky situations coming out of this, depending how much energy they have here. Like, because if they farm to 100, which is, looks like exactly what they're doing, and C and a PU, so it's clearly smart play by your opponent, they'll take you with a weather ball. Uh, so you're going to just grab a shield back with the CMP. But now they can just farm down. I mean, you lowered their attack twice, so it's not terrible. Uh, but they will just shield, farm down, take switch, have basically two weather balls. I forget if you have any energy on this thing, but they have two moves loaded. 
um, and now you're in like a tricky spot, there's one which they're going to get off, which will take you out. Oh, okay, wait, two times, sorry. Two times lower will not take you out. Um, get off the ice punch. Not enough to take out. Uh, I'm going to reset, but um, I guess you're so fast with these. Yeah, you're so fast with these leaf blades that it's worth this sort of instant swap. And now, uh, see, Aerial Ace is going to take you out. So you have to commit the shield. Um, if they're smart, they just let this go. I bet you they even live a close combat. Eh, it'll be close if they live or not. You're really attack heavy, so maybe not. Yeah, just close. Um, but yeah, I would force this energy and let this go and then just uh, polyrath. Or, uh, I mean, how low? I forget how low their Pelipper is. But they're going to take you out here. You can get to the farm down and they have a move loaded. So Magnezone, Instant Polyrath, which is not an amazing matchup, but it's not bad. Mantine. They're going to just wing attack. They may throw before they get to another move here. Yeah. Take you out. Now Sandslash will, uh, well, unless they have Water Pulse, that would be neutral. Sorry, my daughter was coughing a lot up there. I was just making sure she was okay. My wife should be there. Um, resisted. Okay, so maybe they're running Ice Beam. So I would farm up since they're just doing a bunch of those. Um, getting this off. This will take out. Magnezone's loaded though. So are you. And you put them pretty low with the. Okay. So how many moves do you have here? Because if you have two, try and get. Okay. Once you land one, I think it's just worth. You're going to outpace significantly. Like, Gallade was such a. Everyone was using it. Just be like, oh my god, this thing spams so much. But then people realize, like, oh, it's very, very glossy. And there's a lot of bulky stuff in here that can just live moves and just take it out quite easy. And you have to respect that. Ooh, and they make the catch. Which is kind of nice that they reset that Night Slash buff. Um, and you get the resisted farm down. Um, you know it's just a Night Slash, but they, they've already unloaded. So you could probably just like shield and farm. I would just commit to the farm. Uh, I think you just farm down here, quite honestly. Force them to throw. Yeah, you should have just committed to the farm down. Medi lead, okay, terrible. So Polyrath is the swap. Out comes a Wiggly. Okay, so there is your fairy. Gonna get the scald off. You're gonna lose, obviously, but um, they do let it go. You do get the attack fall, but that just makes it even worse because now they're just gonna be very, very low. You gotta wait out your wait out your switch clock because Medi will just come in and destroy this thing. Um, just let any move go, and you're gonna have to two shield Glade, which is like. Near impossible in the even shield with Glade. Trying to... Oh, smart. Really heads up there. So, for those of you watching at home who didn't know what is just what is happening. Are they legged out or something? No. What is happening is your switch clock is not done yet. So, if you throw that powder snow immediately, you have no energy. And your switch locks against the medi, which will just like counter you down to like five counters. So basically what they're doing is you're just taking all the charm damage, knowing that it's resisted, taking the charm move, which is, or icy wind, which is resisted. Now the switch clock's up. Um, so now you can come in here. So now you're coming in here. Let's get this leaf blade off immediately. Glade's gonna have to kind of sweep here, which is a little tough um, because you're gonna have to shield up anything here and Medi is very tanky. And it like all they need is ice punches at this point. So, you'll get off, let's see, I, don't, I have no idea what they have in the back here. So they shield up one, but you should get to, uh, so you gotta commit the shield, you have to, yeah. You should be able to get to two leaf blades before they get to the next move. next move, so I would farm up to like almost two. Okay, 
this is not bad. I assume they just let this go and then try and sweep with Medi. Yep. I throw one Leaf Blade and you have to like immediately reset here. You have to try the Sand Slash. You can't go farm down. Yeah, no, you can't go too far farm down there for no reason. Right? That's all you did was just allow them to energy. There's no scenario here. You just dumped a move here. And you just dumped a move here. There is no scenario where you get to another move having lowered your uh, defense with close combat. There's no scenario that you get to move. So basically you just gave Medi two free counters worth of energy before you came in here. And I don't know how close they were, but if you didn't get that too, maybe you got to the ice punch and one CMP there. Oh, it looks like you're going to win anyways. But like, there's no point of giving them that energy. Just make that swap immediately. Okay, terrible lead coming in Polyrath, which is again not a good answer at all. This team is very weak to to uh, annihilate. You've already mentioned that. Um, you know, getting that skull off is not bad. I would let it go, like force them to throw the shadow ball on you. That's fine. Wait the switch clock out. Come in with Glade. You may need to commit a shield there, but you should probably just farm down here. Um, that's okay. Like, not the worst case scenario. Got the farm down. You have energy. You took it out. Down a shield, but that's okay. Polyrath. Love to see it. Um, this is really bad for them. I don't know why they're coming in here. Um, I would just commit to the farm down. We're at the shield and just farming down. Let's see what they have in the back here. Oh, freak. <laughs> Baiting the close combat, you kind of have to. Uh, but you're again, you can do two psycho cuts before that because that's two versus five. Land the close combat, gonna instant swap here. Um, getting a move off, timing bad on that one. I know you're just trying to get the move off, um, but now they get to a move. So I, I feel like it's your timing here with the fast moves actually probably killed you here so two in a bait is correct you should be going two if you're throwing close combat here don't mind that you gotta go two you only went one you gotta go two in close combat there and then you instant swap one two three four five and you went right away there i know i know why you went there you were hoping for like a CMP that they were going to throw a move. Um, but I think at that point, you almost need to commit to the farm down, even though it's damn near impossible. Um, but you're just in such a tricky situation that you kind of need to commit to it. Okay. Bad lead. Swampert. Swampert's a really weird answer to Polyrath. Like, I'm not surprised. Like, why didn't they just throw a Psycho boost at that grab a shield from you and then if they have absolutely no answer come here for the earthquake um yeah oh and they just went straight nuke with all their energy what are they doing you don't even need to shield um it's just oh is it other? yeah but you live anyways and now you've got both shields and switch. Uh, you can get the Glade on it. It's not that Glade has an amazing matchup. Um, Psycho Boost is still neutral. Yeah, let's just try and chip as much as we can here. We don't know what our win con is yet. It could be Sand Slash. I think it's worth a shield here as well. Ooh, for Rock Side. So now they're just going to go Psycho Boost. Uh, CMP here. I don't think this takes this out. Oh, it does. That's just how attack heavy you are. Uh, let's get to the close combat. And this will likely one shot. Just Shadow Glade, super effective close combat. Must be a nuke here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Shadow Glade is, was such a killer when it first came in. And I think just like the meta evolved to hurt it too much. So bad lead. Um, this is not an answer either. I'm surprised you didn't come polyrath. This is like a much, much worse answer. 
Polyrath at least resists the incinerate. This is taking neutral incinerates and resisted all the moves. Going for the leaf blade again, hoping to like chip this low enough to grab a shield. Can you get to another one? You can. Ooh. And this comes down to um again. I gotta figure this out before I do a video on it. When does the damage register? Because for sure, if you went, okay, you couldn't have gone one. So you went two and tried to throw, but it seems to have registered maybe on the four um, when you're getting to the move. So it's, can't, you can't get to a move. They come in Polyrath, Vigoroth, love to see it. Um, it's probably going to be worth shielding up one of these body slams because body slam is going to chip a lot. Uh, Icy Wind, Vigoroth. If it doesn't, it's in the very deep red. Yeah, we'll say maybe like one more counter. You got a shield. You're so low. Problem is they're probably going to be able just to incinerate you down at this point. Oh, back-to-back -back moves. Two and Icy Wind. Again, you got to try and go two counters there. Two counters to get to four versus the five Icy... I first to five. Uh, they come in on Brian. I would try and catch this. Yeah, you have to try and bank that move. Um, having taken no snarls, I was about to say, I think you should be okay to take at least one more. The problem is, um, you should just be significantly outpaced here. Um, hmm. Not even outpaced, just outbulked. This is gonna be close. I don't think it'll take out. Oh, it does take out. You know you're going down there, so you're not even caring. <laughs> don't even need to worry about that. Let's just get our finger over the scald. We know what our win con is. Getting that scald off. Don't worry about sand slash. Okay. Uh, gonna stay in to at least do one drill run. I don't mind this. Um, and they try to catch and you should, oof, they're at a move. I think it's just icy wind. So you probably could let it go because you'll live. I think you would have lived that and then counters resisted. So I don't think you need to shield that. Leaf blade, probably not enough to take out now. I think you just have to let one go anyways. Like I said, you'll live. Um, now, do they come back and try an aggressive farm down resisted with the smackdowns? Do they throw the move right away? Are you throwing the move right away to now makes it easier for them to smack you down? Um, they let it go, surprising. I would come Polyrath because everything's resisted. Right, flamethrower's resisted, stone, the, yeah. Stone edge is res resisted, so you come in here right away just to take this resisted move. Um, it is a medi in the back. So I would be going... Uh, are they power punching? Yeah, you're you're screwed. I would just... I would have just icy wind here. Because they're going to... Hmm, I'm surprised they actually let that go. Their win con is just to ramp up on this thing and just absolutely delete your team here. Which is why I was going to say I was surprised they let it go. I think they... Uh, You got one off. Dude, how many moves do you have here? At least one. Two. That is actually huge. And now it is a race to the move. And you're going to win. Holy smokes. Nice. Surviving that. Actually, you probably would have lost if you went. I see one and they let that go. Landing that Scald actually probably helped you. So nice work around there. Mostly fast move timing stuff. Um, I've noticed so far. Lantern. Again, I don't know about this team comp, quite honestly. Recognizing it is not a spark lantern. It is a water gun, which makes this a much more manageable matchup for Polyrath. Resisting the water guns, resisting the surf. So they have to go Thunderbolt. Uh, counters are neutral. Yes, your charge moves are resisted, but um, 
now that they dump their energy. Ooh, and it's a Lickitung. So this is great too. They're definitely double weak to this. Let's just, yeah, grab this shield or do a ton of chip damage here. No attack drop. If it's power up, you're done. If it's, yeah, okay, you're done. Um, I think you have to come stand slash because Lick is super effective on, on them. There's an argument to be made that you should just farm down and take the, yeah, that you should take this just this resist to move farm down and come out with a ton of energy. I think that's the right play. Like this is like, that's the kind of stuff that you would not expect from someone in your range, quite honestly. Recognizing that like, again, I'm so confused <laughs> at the skill set at these different levels. Um, I showcased um, a legend team Thursday afternoon, um, and they, that was their run from 2,800 to 3,000. And a couple of times, I'm like, "What is your opponent doing? Have they never played this game before?" And they're at like 2,800. And now, you in like the 2,000 range is recognizing like, Lake Tongue only has resistant moves. The smart play is just to Powder Snow down because I have Powder Snow, not Shadow Claw. Just take the moves and come out with energy, like. The, the variation you get in people in GBL at the different skill levels is insane. Um, going back to back here, to grab one shield already. There's a second. I'd probably instant swap because you'll just outpace here. Yeah, so fast with these leaf blades. I forgot how fast Glade can be in these situations. That'll take it out. What is in the back? You got to hopefully get to a close combat. You do. That is huge because this will put it very low into the yellow, um, into the red, and then you can just powder snow down. I was about to say, if the game allows you to. 2100 range, yeah, like. Okay, great lead, so they'll probably get out here into something. Um, Greninja, yeah, there should be an instant. Don't shield anything, everything is resisted. Hydros will probably add up, like, but. You can live both of them, so I would probably just take both and farm down all the way. Um, and then, question is, are you going to get to two moves? You are not, so just throw the Scald. If you're only going to get to one move, then just throw the harder hitting one, even if it doesn't lower their attack, because they are likely to let it go because you got them punished and they did not wait their switch clock out. I was about to, I was about to say, I would try and punish them, but... I know you are delayed, so maybe you don't want to be... I think they were delayed, though. Like, I think they came in super quick that you probably should have come in just as quick to lock them down here. Oh, okay. This is rough. The good news is... Uh, you should be able to grab both shields with this one here. Yeah. Going for the close combat because you need to grab both these shields. The first bait is right. This is also the right move. And now you need to get to a drill run. And I think you should be able to. They've got to commit to the farm down. And they are not going to get it. Smart play. I, like smart bait. Smart throw in the close combat to grab that second shield or take out. And then just take it there. So you like honestly I don't like the team. Uh, I think your limitations in your team are very obvious. Um, but honestly for a 2100 yellow player you're pretty. You got a lot going for you. Like a few times. With the fast move timing was off. Um, but like even the small things like recognizing your win con. Um, like when you need to bait versus nuke and stuff like that. Like you seem to do quite well. Like I was actually quite surprised based on your paragraph there versus how you played. Again, team, I don't know if I'd use this team, but overall like pretty good. Um Anyways, that is it. So we'll cycle through the limited cup, uh, whatever the fossil or whatever cup it is this week and Great League. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.